Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today we will uh, speak about how to map a business process in Salesforce. We will also talk about uh, how to personalize a stage and how to create uh, a sub stage. We will give more information why it can be interesting to create a sub stage when we have different steps to map into Salesforce. So let's start. I will share my screen with you right now, and we will go directly into Salesforce. So basically, what is a stage, a process? It's different steps that we need to achieve to turn a lead into a, uh, a customer or an opportunity into revenue. And today, an organization needs all these different steps to bring some structure and some processes. I just give you an example. When you are building a car, you need different steps to turn different pieces uh, of metals into the car itself. And all of that needs to be structured and mapped together to uh, achieve the fi final result. So let's go into the first step of mapping a business processes. We need to uh, work with the organization first to understand what are their different process. And for that, we are using what we call a flow chart to get an overall view of uh, the uh, organization processes. And we want to have a different type of diagram. Right now, we are using the flow chart because uh, in my view, it's the easiest one to use. And I want my client and my customer to understand uh, easily um, the documentation that I create. So that's why I started um, with the flowchart, but you can go uh, and complexify with like the CPOC, for example. But let's get uh, started first with the top level diagram. Here, we want to get an helicopter view of the main process used into an organization to turn a lead into revenue. Uh, but if we go a bit deeper, we do a deep dive into each part of this component. And we want to understand what are the steps required uh, by a sales representative or someone else into the company to achieve one component of um, the sales process. So we will focus on um, the top level processes that I've created in this chart flow. So it's uh, for a, com a commercial real estate company. And we will focus on engagement stage and documentation stage. So I've worked with the customer and we identify the step together of these two uh, processes and we will map them into Salesforce. So let's go into Salesforce. Now we see that we have an opportunity and we want to personalize this path. So I uh, just a reminder, the path is the different aspect uh, and the different step required to turn an opportunity into revenue. So we go directly into setup. Then we will go into uh, uh, the object manager and we will go into the opportunity object. So I will find it. I click on opportunity. Then I will go into field and relationship. Then I will go into stage. Then what I can see is that I have the opportunity stage pick list value. I currently have two value, close one and close lost. So I want to add new value, value that I can find into my flow chart that I created with the customer. So I will take all of them. So I go to my top level diagram. As we can see, the first one, is the prospecting stage. We add a probability, so how this stage will contribute 
uh, to, the, to achieve revenue for the organization. I create that for all of them. Next one is engagement. Next one is engagement. Uh, after that, I will go to documentation. Make sure that you add uh, your stage, your stage uh, to the sales process that you created. Forget to add the probability. Then I will add the inspection stage. And finally, I will add the negotiation stage. I just need the page to refresh. It will take a few seconds and I will refresh my browser. So I will add the negotiation stage. Up. Negotiation, 70% and I add it. Perfect. So once I've added all uh, the stage, what I want to create is a sub stage. And a sub stage is just one of the components that is listed into my stage. So for example, I will focus on engagement stage. I can go to engagement stage and I will add it into my sub stage. So I go in field and relationship, I'm still in the opportunity object. As you can see, there is stage pick list. I will create a new pick list. Pick list. And I will call it sub stage. I will click on enter value. I will put into a document all of the steps that are listed into my flowchart. So I copy that, I add it, and I will click on next. Okay, I will add it visib visible for everyone, and I will uh, I will click on save. And as we are also working on um, the next stage, so documentation stage in this example, I will add some new value to a substage. And I will add documentation value to substage. So basically, all the components that are listed in this diagram. So I add it. And now what I want to do is to click on field and relationship and create a field dependency. So I click on field dependency, I click on new, and I will put stage as a controlling field and substage as a dependent field. And I will click on continue. Here, you can see that I have all the different stage of my uh, opportunity process. And I will have to say in this matrix uh, chart, which substage correspond to which stage. So let's start. I can see that in engagement, I have all of them. So create the term engagement document to receive payment for invoice. So I will select my value and click include value. And in documentation, I have the rest. So send long list to visit properties shortlisted. And I click 
include value. All right. So now that I have selected the value that are related to uh, a specific stage, I click on save. And uh, I will directly be able to go into my setup still, and I will click on uh, sales, sales process to view the current sales process. So here, as you can see, I have a sales process called opportunity business process. I will edit it and I will save it. And then I will be able to go into path and I will, uh, I will delete the path that I created before and I will click on new path. So we will give this name, this path name opportunity to revenue because this is from a new opportunity to an opportunity one, so a revenue. I will select the object uh, opportunity because we are working mostly on the opportunity object. The record type, we are working on the main version of the opportunity object, so it's master. And the pick list, it's the different stage uh, of the opportunity object. So here, as you can see, I have the three stage, custom stage that I have created. And for engagement, I will add a specific field into my key field, I will add stage and substage. Make sure to add stage, otherwise substage won't work and you won't be able to personalize your uh, substage. So you click on save and I will do the same into uh, documentation and I will save. So I will just write a description, complete, or the substage to uh, achieve this the documentation stage. And I will do the same in engagement. And I will click on next. I will activate the path and activate the celebration and I click on finish. So now that I activated uh, this, I will go into uh, my Salesforce sales console and I will refresh my browser. So as you can see, if I go into an opportunity, uh, I will click on all the opportunity and I will choose this one. As you can see, if I come back to engagement, first step, Salesforce will ask me which stage are you on and which, uh, which um, substage are you working on? So I click on this one. And basically here, in documentation, in engagement stage, I have what we call the key field. So I can visualize my stage and also my sub stage that I can edit. So I can say to the uh, sales representative, you have to go through each sub stage to complete the stage engagement. And then you need to go through each substage of the stage documentation to achieve the documentation stage and go to inspection stage. So this is a bit like a to-do list that it's really useful because remember that you shouldn't have more than seven uh, stage in your uh, sales process, in your uh, 
opportunity process. So that's a way for you to have a to-do list and more information on how to complete a specific stage. And you can provide more structure to your sales representative and um, ideally have a better way to close more deal. So thank you for watching this video. And if you have any question, I'm available in the comments to answer all your questions. Have a great day. Thank you.